Isn't it? I think I neglected to put the E at the end of Bloodborne on the tweet. I think I neglected to put the E on the end of Bloodborne on the tweet. Now everyone's gonna laugh at me. Oh no. Hell. It's so an E as born. Let her pun. Shameful. Clever puns, shameful. Oh, 100% shameful, absolutely. But praise blood, and by that I mean praise blood bingus. Mm hmm I love her, she's amazing. She's pretty great. I'm so glad this game lets you play as the toughest granny in the world. Granny bingus is here to kill some monsters and she don't give a fuck. The leanest, meanest blood bingus. This world has ever seen. The play on the line? Probably. So I guess while we're getting started, I'll probably load us in and say, um, uh -huh, uh -huh. basically there's, we're attempting to get into the Cathedral Ward because that was, I guess, basically what Gilbert told us to do. Did he? he presented us with something. He was like, yeah, hey, you should go see, you should go check out the Blood Church. They're like, in charge right. of blood ministrations. Blood church sounds fun. But it turns out all the gates are locked. Oh no. Um, so there's two ways that we could get around it. I will show off the one we won't be doing first. Of course, the uh, sword emblem that we got added stock to the shops. And one of those things was the Kirk Hammer. That was for uh, beating the Cleric Beast. Sure was. Another thing that it added to the store. And hello, hello, everybody. Welcome. Is <sighs> this Hunter Chief emblem. Yeah. So it was mentioned that uh, only the leader of the hunt could open up the church door once it's closed. It's time for you to pet the lad. That sure is. Get the feeling there will be a few of those. <laughs> and he's going to fall over a bit. I, I've got him propped up oh, now on the CD player, yeah, on our DVD enough. player. Fair enough. Um, We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> no corgi this time. Indeed. So um, the other way to do it is to go through Old Yarnum, the other area that we ended the stream in. We do not have to fight the guy who's shooting at us, although we he would stop shooting at us if we did. Um, But the... This is basically a way to get around having to do that and fight the boss that's at the end of it. You need 10,000 You need 10,000 blood echoes for it, though. My idea of what game is recent or not is weird. Like, I also was like, oh, yeah, this game that came that's out pretty new, a yeah. couple of years ago. <laughs> oh, si oh, no, that's, that's way too long ago. <laughs> How is this not a new game? Mm -hmm. Then I think of that, of, like, I think of Final Fantasy XIII as a new game, and that's a really old game at this point. Yep. Ancient, basically. Two generations ago. A lot of it is because, like... We have indeed beaten Father Gascoigan. I, I don't want to say that game graphics have stagnated, but they, they, they kind of plateaued. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, there's definitely been more of a leveling between different consoles where, like, certain specific effects will look nicer on newer consoles, but not quite the sea change that you get from, like, PS2 to PS3 or yeah, the, PS1 to I know, PS2. right? The difference between PS3 and PS5 is so much smaller than even PS2 to PS3, <coughs> in my opinion. Like, this yeah. game looks really nice. Mm-hmm. Yes, it still looks absolutely fantastic. And I mean, it was basically a very early PS4 game, so it's not as far back as you might expect in terms of generations, but it is still like, you know. Yes, we, we beat up uh, Papa mm -hmm. with a music box. We sure did. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. We can't get shot by this dude. Yes. Uh, we're going to be avoiding him this time. Rather, At least that rather will than be the going up and getting murdered by him. Hello. There are some PS3 games that are ugly. It, it's, it's very easy to still make an ugly looking game. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's all art direction. I, I see you, buddy. <laughs> so it is like... Yeah, like, like honestly, I, I don't imagine a PS5 game... Like, PS5 isn't going to look substantially better than the PS4. Nope. What it will do is potentially have better loading times. Better, I missed! Better draw distance, all that sort of thing. You'd hope. But it does a little mean, surprised I hit that, but I'll take it. It does mean my perception of what is an old game and what isn't is completely Yes, it's a lot scared. harder now. It used to be like, oh, it's an old game because it has like six polygons. Yeah. You know? It was it was very obvious the difference. Or it's a new game replicating a retro style, you know, sort of thing. And now it's like, well with PSD kind of like almost becoming retro now. Ooh, exceptionally rude. I, I think the line, I, I think it's just getting even more blurry, like what is a new, what is an old game. Mm -hmm. Gotta say, I really like the transformation attack in this thing. It's pretty good. Like it fits in the combos really, really well. Are we still gonna like sneak or are we doing to a different path? Uh, it will still be sneaking because there's not too much we can do. Whoop. It'll just be we won't go up in front. Of yes. Oh, oh, oh dear. Boy. I am about to make a lot of friends and I don't like it. No thanks, bye. Nice of them to sort of spread themselves out perfectly. Ah, put the flash up so you can use the torch to keep enemies away from you. Mm-hmm. It'll probably be quite helpful in like some of the upcoming shooty areas. Yes. The big thing I'm trying to do here is this way. Gonna have to ask you to stop, sir. Very satisfying the way that it cracks there. Also, please <laughs> give me. No, no, you're not allowed those antidotes. Please give me. No, they will not. I mean, what were you saying? What was I saying? I, I don't know. The, the thing... <laughs> I know, I'm trying to remember what I was saying, and I'm failing. The thing we were here for, or what were we doing? I don't, I don't know. Up, up. Hello. My god, I'm getting played here. The juked you a wee bit. I got a little juked, yes. I also didn't really get that guy's attention, despite the explosions and stuff. There we go. Run back in, because as we saw last time, that is in full sight of the, uh, Turret. machine gun. Yeah, I legitimately can't remember where I was going. <laughs> that, with my, uh, that thought with went whatever right, I was saying. right out of your brain. Run, 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 run. Keep running. Not no backseating unless you want to pay 10,000 pounds. Yeah. I think, it's set up again. I think so. Sounds about right. Yeah, God, when you get real aggressive on these crows, it tends to go bad for you. Yeah, we've got... I was mostly just trying to be here without being shot. Or fool me. Back up to the low on stamina there. There we go. I 
always forget you have a stamina meter. Like, oh, you're back again. It's like, oh, because you're out of stamina. You can't just slash forever. I'm out of guts. 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 Oh, he just wants to give me a big oh, hug. Oh, he just, he just wants a hug. Beware the old hugs. Yeah, we mostly just kind of play through the games uh, and don't worry too much about getting everything absolutely right. Hello, friends. Anybody like... Oh, fuck this. Just that guy, really. Just, just the turret dude, yeah. Turret dude really wants to shoot you. Oh, fair enough. No, I'm good, thanks. Bye. Oh, you're, you're a little busy, so... Ah, yes. <laughs> My, my oh lord. This is far too many friends, I've got to say. Yeah, because I want to hear some Sector and you don't have, uh... Oh boy. You're dead. <laughs> you don't have the stamina. Next time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And that that's was just a, a that's that was a just a real lads. good close up that's right there. That's a lot of lads right there. <laughs> Big close up of the lad. Mm-hmm. I think we should be able to run through most of this, although in that last area I'll definitely want to uh I feel like whipping out your torch through there is good because I'll make yeah. them go away from you. I forgot I had the flame sprayer rather than the torch on. Oh, we'll see how this does. Yeah, they're having a party in the corner. Eh, I don't like it. Hmm. Any more hits? Never. Absolutely not. Not a chance. Buddy. Okay, those guys. Yeah, those guys aren't as bothered. They got cloaks on their heads. They got hoods. Let's see the wee bears. Wee Almost just ran off. That would have been funny. That would have been real funny. I would have laughed. Pretty funny. All right, I've made problems for myself. This is fine. Fine. This is fine. See, if they can't see the flames, they're not bothered by it. Mm-hmm. Almost like they have cloaks over their heads. Weird. Weird that. All right. Well, everything worked out perfectly, I guess. All right. Torch so we'll see if the torch stops them from chasing me. That guy wants to have a go with it. He does do that. Rude. Oh boy, hello. My guy do not care about them flames. Ooh, hello. I am making so many friends and influencing people. Oh lord. Well, <laughs> bye. 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 Ah, and I'm poisoned. Uh oh. You got your slow poison and your speedy poison. Got ourselves some antidotes. Yep. See, so yeah, the thing they were putting on us was poison. Okay, everything worked out perfectly here, and we I will not, uh. Vile and, uh. Let's go on from here. Yeah. Oh, hey, like I said, we're not going to bother with uh, going up to meet that guy. Yeah, he killed us pretty uh, pretty good last time. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, hi. Yeah, get my ass. Yeah, come get some. Yeah, woo, you, you're going to get us. Oh, get that crate, dude. Yeah, there we go. Ow. Ooh, that hurt.
Luckily, they're pretty slow, so I don't have to worry about backing off to heal. Blood vials Blood are nice. Vials. I have been uh, kind of chomping yeah, for Yeah, sure. Bit. Well, we're not going to run into more poison. That would be terrible. Oh, that I'm, would be terrible. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm sure we're not going to We just got more antidotes, but I'm sure there's no, there's no more poison. That's it. We ran into the poison lads. That's mm -hmm. it. We're done, right? Those are the only poison lads in the whole game. Yeah. Oh, hello. Can you use there, huh? Maybe a little bit. Someone did not. Someone died here. Please, no hugs. See those mad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Aww. no. Aww. I got the first one, but not the second one. Aww. You have poison hell area in a FromSoft <laughs> game? No. All right, good start to the stream. Going good. I think the plan is to just keep running. Just keep running, running, running. The Hunter Axe is definitely a little bit better at crowd control just because it uh, comes out a little faster for its big range. Takes a little bit to swing the hammer. The hammer is quite slow. But I do enjoy bringing the hammer down. Souls 2. It's fine, they're gonna leash on us eventually. Unlike Dark Souls Unlike 2. Unlike Dark Souls 2. Hey there, thank you for the resub. Thank you so much. I'm just gonna hope that no one's gonna follow me all this way. Dang. They were closer than I thought they were. That was weird. Alright, well, that worked out better than I possibly could have hoped. Yeah! Then we're gonna die in the next room. It's gonna be great! Oh, hell yes. It's gonna be excellent. That is the plan. Okay, this guy's got our souls. It was a little close, but we got there. We get our torch. Uh, yeah. Ah, when they're oh, big old red glowy eyes, don't care about the torch. Don't they do? Ha. Ooh. Oh, we set that man on fire. They are beasties. All right, lads, I'm gonna need to ask you to <laughs> stop, please. Oh no. Oh, there's so many of them, oh no. The nice thing about the torch is that it does not use Quicksilver bullets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh goodness, hello. Hi. Why are there just so many lads coming in to destroy you? I do not know. They're just all aggro. I think they were all in like the room below you, and they're just like all like aggroed on you and run up here to find you. Seems like it. Oh, are you? Are you gonna get stuck, buddy? Oh, there's another one. Hello. <laughs> Bye. They're all like, stuck in that door. Oh, oh, has he finally worked up his nerve? <laughs> I 
Yeah, I think we're screaming. There's like a big room below us, and I think they all aggroed, and they all just they all found the stairway and came running up to get us. Yes, that seems to be what happened. There's a uh, there's some things going on in there. What on earth is happening? It was a cathedral. That seems like it may have been. Bad things have happened in this cathedral, huh? I feel like you see a cathedral in a video game, that's a pretty safe bet. It's, it's fair. More bloodstone shards, always happy to see. I have not it's seen Time that. for exploiting species. Fantastic. Went for that dude in the corner and it did not work out great. Well, we've clearly cleared this out entirely, Oh, so. yeah, sure. There's definitely nothing down here that will kick our ass. Absolutely. Absolutely not. Wow, that lad against him, father. Fair that enough. That lad wanted to stay here. Yeah, so I mentioned the blood vials, and it is like, uh... This game does seem to kind of lend itself to run out of your... Resource. I was gonna go say, so, I heard someone there. Go farm more. Yeah. Ah, that was not the time, huh? That did not parry, I guess. It is the thing about the parry. Sometimes it's just it's like, like, well, you why have doesn't to, this like, work? Commit. Like, if you've hit with a bullet, if you don't run forward, you don't get the parry. Like. There we go. Easy every time. First but try. It's happened to us a lot where you run forward and the enemy's not been parried, or you've not run forward and the enemy. Or you run parried. forward too much. We run forward too much, yeah. Which has happened. <clears throat> New notes. Reminiscent of terrible thoughts. I think the blood vials is it's a cost in time. Hmm. That's a bit gross. A little bit. A little bit. What, what's that? What is that thing? Oil is affected. Are we, are we gonna set this on fire? I don't know if you can do anything with this thing here. Might be similar to another boss. I don't know what else is around the courtyard here. Well, you say you only need to farm blood vials to get stuck on a hard boss, but if you're new to these types of games, then you're going to be using... <laughs> every boss is a hard e every boss. Every <laughs> enemy is going to be hard, you know? Well, let's see what's uh, on their well-preserved oh, altar. Oh, a suspicious altar! Mm hmm I love suspicious altars. I love ritual blood. I sure do. <laughs> I have no idea what ritual blood is for. Ah, Holy Chalice Ritual, of course. Definitely just a weird change. To go from the Estus system, which works very well, to consumable system like uh, Demon Souls had. I think the thing about it is, like, it is an interesting change, and I can see why people would like it, but I also can see myself... Like, instead of making me make choices, it would just make me grind more. Which I've, I, you know, I play GRPGs, I know exactly how that works. It's never that fun when a game does something that, like, instead of being challenging, just means I have to waste my time killing the same enemy every time. Uh, trying to jump away there. Didn't quite work. Hit tree. This is fine. That was a lot of crows to get through for that bloodstone shard. Hang in there, skeleton. I, I do think it's interesting in a way that you, you've got 20. Mm -hmm. And so if you're in a boss, you have a limited amount of healing you can do. So you can't just like... Yes, you can't just bring 2 billion potions to your fight. And that is kind of carryover from most of the Souls games. Yeah. Just in those ones, it's like your Estus Flask yeah. is a hard limit that then refills itself. That's a bunch of blood vials, though. Can't imagine that's for any reason. It is 
difficult. Yeah. As a JRPG player, it's difficult to, to get yourself to not do the grind. Yes. Even if the grind is making you not enjoy the game as much, it, it's very difficult. So here we go. This is the uh, doorway, like right below the gun dude. I'm not really sure I enjoy so the fact that there us. are specific grinding spots either, because then, well, then you have to know what the specific grinding spots are. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm playing a game called Alliance... Uh, I cannot say this game's name. Alliance Alive. Alliance Alliance Alliance? Alliance 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 uh, it's 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 really good. But there's this thing that people do a lot of grind, like, like this exploit to grind out a consumable that's normally uh, finite. Mm -hmm. But there's an exploit to get infinite of them. Ah. Uh, and I haven't done it because I don't want to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But everyone's like, this game's so easy. You can just do this. If you just do this exploit. You just do you're this good. exploit. I mean, I'm like, why? The, why? Why are you complaining the game is easy if you're doing this exploit? And then you're like, well, the game's hard if you don't do the exploit. And it's like, but... Hmm. I shouldn't have to do an exploit. Remember Bloodstone? I would never remember Bloodstone. So, like, if the grind's rough, but it's okay, there's a specific spot where if you've gone on Game of FAQs and searched for how do I grind money... Reeks of Beast, eh? It's weird that people compare it to Sigdoten because it's clearly a saga game. <laughs> Alliance Alive is very clearly a romancing saga game. It very much reminds me of Romancing Saga 1. Hello, friend. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, other friend. <laughs> oh, sorry. I meant to be afraid of this. <laughs> Just keep coming in. I'm pretty sure there are people who've worked on the saga games that have also worked on Alliance Live. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a big overlap between the two series, but it's, it's very clearly a saga game. <laughs> Beware of man beast. Yeah, get them. Get them. They got racked by like four of those things, huh? That would be my guess. Four of those babies. Fair enough. Hmm. Well, nothing this... untoward about all this. Are you gonna get shot? This gun guy gonna leap down and then shoot you? No. Ugh. Oh, let Pet the dogs. We're just back in Lycanthrope Town. We're back in Pet the Dog Town. Not very scared of your fire. Mm hmm. We can fix that. Wow, I'm a little surprised that that got me. A woo. I'm gonna keep doing it. All right, pet the flush. Search the corpse. It is a lot of power, and I set it pretty low. <laughs> <laughs> Hello again. Mm. They got limbs. These are some leggy boys right here. That is basically the Bloodborne method of making an enemy scary. Big limbs. Lengthen. Big leggy boys. Ah. I don't know why I didn't shoot there. Yeah. All right, yeah. What if long? Can I get me one of them long boys? I do only have one specific goal for this uh, particular trip out. Mostly I'm going to have to remember the layout though. Yeah, I, I, I do think when you're making systems like the blood vials is you gotta think of like, 
you know what you want your player to do in response mm -hmm. to your system, but like you gotta consider what you if gotta they don't. Consider what if what other behaviors your system You're might incentivizing, engender, you know. and I feel like the blood vial is definitely incentivized grinding. Yes, let us find the grind spot. Find the grind spots for souls. Find the grind spots for blood vials. Find the grind spots when? for. <laughs> you came quite a little bit. A little bit. Uh, find the spots for your parry being on bullets. It's like, well, find the dude who gives out bullets every time he dies and kill him every time you come in this area. Or just over and over again. These guys' attacks come out so quick it's quite difficult to parry them. And, like, there isn't necessarily a bad thing to want your player to do. Yeah. It's a reasonable game loop to have. Yes, like but... if if you enjoy that kind of of loop, um, I it, got it, fucking it, body check there. You get a wee bit. And it is a loop that uh, a few quite a few people enjoy, but like, it is also a loop that can uh, really disincentivize people from playing as well. Yeah, the biggest thing about it is just like. When you're worse at the game, it makes you grind more. Yes. It's kind of the biggest problem. Yes. I think that's the thing. Like, I think about the Souls game is one of the big re biggest reasons that... Hello, lad. That I'm not interested in playing them is that I would be starting at a position of incredible newbie. Mm -hmm. And it does not seem all that... It's not very new player friendly. Okay, there we That's go. That is the thing that I wanted to do, because this is actually uh, back here with an elevator straight up to the mm -hmm. fire. Like, basically, yeah, when we ran off the yeah, roof yeah, the original yeah, time, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, that was that's where we uh, ended up, basically. So now we have a much, much better path to this lower area, which is good, because I don't really want to deal with the gun stuff. I mean, it's the sort of thing, like, Dark Souls 3 was always going to have an Estus system, because that's just what Dark Souls is, but I do think it's kind of telling that they went back to an Estus-style system in Sekiro, which wasn't tied to having this. Because um, Bloodborne came out before Dark Souls 3. Yeah. I feel like it was definitely an interesting experiment, and I feel like they were trying to answer some problems with the Estus Flask system. Mm-hmm. Very sneaky, whatever you are. Hello. Very, very sneaky. <laughs> I think he just scrim. Screamy boy. Some boys just scrim. They sure do. I'm debating. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Not sure how that ended up being a parry, but you know, that's good. Thought he was dead. Yeah, sometimes it'll just barely not kill them. So anyway, what I was saying was, I'm debating going back to the Hunter's Dream now that we've reopened the uh, shortcut. Yep. Because, um, you know, there might be a boss coming, maybe. Yeah, the Blood Vial systems works really well when you're already good at the game because you just don't really worry about it. It's, it is sort of like the, uh, what should we call it, uh, the tools for the toy, for the, the things for the shinobi tools ah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, in yes, Sekiro, yeah, yeah. where, like, we didn't really notice the lack of any lack of them because we were always swimming in them in my streamed Sekiro playthrough. Mm -hmm. The minimum wild count is just zero. None. You can have none. They are a consumable item. So yeah, since we've got 12,000 souls here, I might as well use them. There is also that you lose your souls when you die, and you can yes. pick them up, but if you die twice, you lose them all. The, the FromSoft classic. It, it, it's, it's very unfriendly to do these yeah. games. Yes. I mean, the biggest thing about it is you kind of have to, like... Just kind of let go of your let soul, of soul count. Yeah, yeah. But it is yeah. not... It's not very natural to do yes. something like that, yes. you know? Yes, yeah. When they're your money, it's very hard to just be like, your money is ultimately completely expendable, you know? Yep. 
So yes, uh, we have now gotten these up to plus three, and we need twin bloodstone shards to be able to do anything with them now. Said I will probably just dump it all into this, make my weapons big and strong. And we don't have any triangle things here, unfortunately. Currently got physical attack up, NHP recovery. Nothing else here seems all that exciting, so. We will definitely look at our blood gems as we go along and, you know, try to find ones that work well for us. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Yeah, I think the other thing that, like, like I, I had this complaint when I was playing Sly Cooper, and it's like, if you, you go into a boss with full resources, and you, you don't know what's coming, so inevitably you die, because mm -hmm. it's just a boss fight, and inevitably you die in boss fights. As you do. And then your second time through, you don't have those resources anymore, and Sly had the, um... And like the Crash Bandicoot health system, oh, you have like one hit and then you have like, I, you know, you get the extra masks and you have right. extra hits. So when you died, you went back to having one hit. Yeah. Um, so when you inevitably died on a boss, you were in a much worse position yep. to the second run. So it's like, well, you better have figured out how to do the boss the first time or you're just getting like worse in this game i definitely see like when you die against the boss every time you die you're using up consumable resources so you have less of them yep which means, it kind of like, just adds to the stress of a game yeah. that is already pretty stressful this is a boss where molotov cocktails are good but oh you've used you used five of them in the first attempt and now you have yep. two there is definitely especially with consumable items like a uh a worry that you have yeah. of do i know this boss well enough to justify using these kinds of things and yeah, like, losing 50k souls never feels good. Eventually, you play these games long enough that you just kind of, like, learn to accept it, you know? When you have that many souls on you, you either should have... You either had an ample opportunity to spend them already, or your stuff's starting to get pretty expensive, you know? Bye! You really don't want anything to do with you. Oh, fair enough. These are basically the crystal lizards of this game. Um, they have tend to have like rare smithing items on them. Uh, and they run away from you. Yep. Lads on this one, but uh, we'll just opt out of lads. You have to be a little careful, but luckily this door does stay open. Don't remember exactly where the first guy was. I'm gonna go upstairs to make sure he doesn't jump on my back. I know there was a dude out there, but I feel like he won't aggro on us. Maybe a foolish assumption, but you know. <laughs> It'll be quite far away. Mm-hmm. Big thing here, we'll be making sure that any of the beasts that are, like, you know, in this direction don't bother us too much. At least that we don't end up fight in fights with, like, five of them. Nobody say anything. a little too close there and didn't quite get the uh, hit. I'm surprised you weren't already coming, buddy. There we go. Beautiful. Shards are nice. Getting any weapon to plus three is sort of like a prerequisite for using it at all most of the time, because enemies will scale up fairly quickly. But yeah, I think it's funny if I ever if I ever That's wanted a lot of quicksilver. There's a lot of quicksilver. If I ever wanted to get into like souls games, I would not start with literally any of the souls games. Yeah, <laughs> that is fair. They seem like a terrible way to get into like playing these types of games. Old Hunter's Mark. 
They've definitely, like, the, the thing they're trying to evoke is this real feeling of mystery and, like... Dread? Yes, with the world that you're in, and, you know, kind of like, the world is very hostile to you, but in a relatively fair way. But that does mean that you have to, like, get used to the way that they control, like, the, the bumpers are probably the biggest, weirdest thing. Um, attacking on L1 and R1 is, like, just mm. really, really strange the first time you do it. Ah, yes. Hey, so, Alfred. uh, Alfred was the priest that we met at the church, uh, mm. a little earlier. He gave us a Could, thing. Are we gonna get him killed if we summon him? No. Um, it would cost us one insight if we did want to do that. Uh, okay. But, uh, he is basically a summon for a boss. Okay. You actually, if you haven't killed him yet, can summon Father Gascoigan for a thing. All right, thing. Oh, there's another one over there. Hello. It sure is. It's weird because I couldn't like lock onto him. No. Um, but you can summon him for the uh, Lark Beast fight. Uh, okay. We just haven't really run into too many of those uh, summon symbols. The summon system is a bit weirder in this game, because like in Souls games, it's just if you have humanity, you can summon for bosses. If you don't, you can't. They just don't show up. All right. I think that's everything that's out here. So uh, let's go into this church where absolutely nothing yeah. bad is going to happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm getting those Molotov cocktails for no reason. None whatsoever. Hello. <laughs> Remember poison and no mercy. This is the blood starved beast. But hopefully Granny Vingus will not be donating any blood here. You never know. This thing has legs. This thing can move, yeah. Bit of a bit of a sprinter. Biggest thing with this is that it can fucking move. <laughs> I did get it there. I was not able to get the uh, parry on it, but good to know that I can do that. <laughs> good luck. It doesn't involve me literally getting off my chair. Don't get in the way of him, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of the point of you being told to do it, so. Oh, oh, oh. This is fine. What? Oh, hello. I think we've made it angie. We it very angie. I did get it. <laughs> it did not care so much. It always sucks when you go just a little bit too far away uh, and lose your lock on on uh, enemies. I pet. You may not have seen it, but I did. Mm -hmm. That's why he like got a bit gribbly in the middle so of that fight. That's why I got a little bashed. He got a little bashed. Got it a little early there. You're looking kind of blood starved there, buddy. Oh no, he fell over. Oh no! <laughs> oh, he is just filled with poison. Oh dear. Oh, God. 
No, we're fine. We're not fine. We're poisoned. We're fine. Been poisoned for a bit now. <laughs> it is sort of just spewing poison off of itself. But being anywhere close to it is, um, poisoning. Oh, God. Oh, no. Ah! Ah! Unfortunate. That was close, though. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Mm-hmm. We're trying to get you to do a pet in the middle of the <laughs> Yeah, sometimes his boss be like that. Get that bad stick. Mm-hmm. Luckily, this is a fairly easy corpse run to make, or at least, you know, boss run. I don't really think there's anything I have to have to fight. <laughs> now should be better on cam. Yeah, Dark Souls 2 healing is the slowest healing in the entire world. <laughs> you will successfully drink, but your health won't come back. Mm -hmm. It is very wet looking. Mm hmm. Everybody wet looking. Raise the sun. Raise the blood. Now, hopefully, a werewolf doesn't, uh,. I'm gonna knock on my door. Huh. Oh, okay, good look at this thing. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. That's a weird lad right there. That's a fairly weird lad. Hey, weird. There's a uh, <laughs> fog door in front of it now. Yeah, of course. They love like, doing pet, that. Pet the flush before you go through the door. Bat, bat, bat. There we go. <laughs> Raise that sword. It is interesting. I'm not totally sure whether I want the big hammer or the small one. Like, usually when fighting big things, you kind of do want the... Twice. Yeah. Time I just did not get close enough. Please, no big hugs. But it loves the big hugs. There's a lot of, like, I have to fit my, uh, swings between attacks. Ah. What are you gonna do, rush me? Uh, in terms of convincing Jim to play Bloodborne, he's still doing, uh, Dark Souls 2. Mm-hmm. Progress is being made. We recorded just last night, in fact. Definitely like how uh Ow, come on. How like quick blood vials are? Yes. The nice and quick and snappy and uh... In Dark Souls 2 you get punished for uh healing a lot, I would say. It's kind of spitting some poison now. My little bug gushers. Jeez, that does a lot of poison all at once, huh? Mm -hmm. 
That was a grab. It sure was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like the parry system was a bit opaque. In this one. The parry system's not great. I've been trying to interact with it a bit more, and I still just don't like it very much. <laughs> Granted, I don't really like any sort of souls parrying until uh, Sekiro, because there is actually a method to learn how to parry in that game. Like, I honestly can't tell the difference between when you do get it and when you don't get it. It makes a noise is the biggest thing, um, so you kind of have to just be listening for that noise. I, I wasn't even aware of that. Yeah. Like a ding, basically. Mm. Took me a while to take fall damage there. <laughs> sort of had to think about it. Ah, so in Dark Souls 2, you have to learn how to drink fast. Fair yes. Enough. There is a stat that actually governs how fast you can take a drink in Dark Souls 2. Does it tell you that it does nope. that? Didn't think so. <laughs> tell you things. I, I know, right? All right, I might summon Alfred. That might help us. You have an insight for the lad? Yep. Well, I have plenty of it. We, we have a lot of my man's knowledge. Oh yeah, the leveling curve in Dark Souls 2 is fine. It's just there's way too many stats and what they do is way too opaque. <laughs> It's a stat. It does thing. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to tell you what thing does? No. Fuck you. Adaptability? You idiot. You moron. <laughs> Ring a little bell. Yep. That is the old hunter bell we got. Well, it is just if you don't know what adaptability is, you just won't. You'll just play the game without iframes. <laughs> <coughs> Hello, old hunter, vile blood hunter Alfred. Hey, Al. He's uh pretty well set up, I gotta he's, say. He's, he's got a Kirk hammer. Got, uh, yeah, my lad. And he's a got Kirk hammer. the fucking comedy gun over here. Sure, fucking does. I love him. Looney Tunes ass gun right here. I love this man. I probably shouldn't. This is a Dark Souls game. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't like anybody. You shouldn't like anybody. <laughs> Liking is always a mistake. It is a mistake to get attached to any character for any reason whatsoever. You know what? Get his ass, Alfred. <laughs> Getting your souls. Like most of here is distraction. It's yeah, like they can do damage, but they also just take way less damage than you for the most part. Wee! You really want to abuse your iframes here. Straight to where Alfred happened to be standing. Ah, he took out the gun for once. Whoa! I was not expecting it to sort of turn style the way it did there. Um, it is worth noting that when you summon, bosses actually get more health uh, as a balancing factor. Okay. Yes, it can be a little bit difficult to tell. Oops. Generally speaking, being in front of the Blood Starved Beast is a bad idea. Yeah, I can see that. Generally speaking. Ow. 
around him. It's definitely just a little slow for some of these hits, the way that it flies across the screen. Yep. Alfred's making it work, and you know what? I appreciate him for that. Mm -hmm. It is definitely a little difficult to tell who it's aggroing on sometimes. Or which side is its front, for that matter. <laughs> a different outfit, full of blood. Mm hmm. It really wants that blood right now. It is starving. Ah! I thought I had gotten that. Yeah, now his attacks have poison. It's, you know, an issue. This is a fight where I can see you dying a lot and then running out of antidotes and having to go, like... Hunt for them. Hunt for more, yeah, before you can even get back to trying the fight again. Yes, it's definitely an issue. You know, I don't know exactly what happened there, but I will accept it. This is fine. I think I actually just got <laughs> Alfred a gun parry right he there. He sure did, yeah. <laughs> Fucking teamwork. I didn't realize yeah. I could do that. I mean, it makes sense because they're two separate actions, but like, man. Mm -hmm. I should probably keep that in mind. One of the hardest things is just keeping up with it. Ah. The fun part is going to be when he dies. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Jump at me? Uh oh. Uh oh. He's like super dead now. Sure has. So he's not like dead dead, right? No. Character? No. Just keep doing this. You got some of these hits they get are just like. Not the greatest. <laughs> so, if you die, do you have to keep spending insight to summon Alfred? Yes. Ah, fuck me. Ugh. Yeah, I knew I was screwed. I had too much stuff I had to do there. God damn. It's tough, huh? That was a pretty tough one. I'm debating if I want to do, uh, like, summon him again or not. The whole insight versus humanity thing is sort of weird, because, like, you actually can farm humanity in most cases. Insight, like, I think you can, but it's a bit strange. I don't quite recall. The big thing being that you get insight for, like, doing things in this game. Like, walking into bosses and then beating bosses and stuff like that. Grant's insight. The second body was definitely nice, but it was still a bit hard to rack up damage on him. Because, of course, if he's running away from, uh... Oops. This is fine. Because if he's running away, or like trying to chase Alfred down, it's a bit difficult for mm -hmm. me to really get a yeah. bunch of hits on him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, entering new areas can give insight. There's a lot of just random stuff that gives insight. It's definitely a weird, interesting system, especially because it's like, you know, knowledge into things man was not meant to know. 
Yeah, seeing weird shit. You love seeing weird shit. Mm-hmm. Big same. Wow. I just got nothing off of that attempted gun parry. Weird, that attack like has a high time for it because he's moving so quickly, it's like actually fairly difficult. I could if they wouldn't <laughs> fucking just walk straight away yeah. from me. It is kind of an issue with this boss fight that it moves quite a lot, which makes hitting it really difficult. Mm -hmm. Even like really obvious counter hits. Wow. Yeah. Like, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to that do in felt that case. Like that should have been it. It's just got such a massive, like, wave of hitboxes coming out that it's like, well, what do you want me to do exactly? <laughs> Alright, it's got the stank on now. Probably should be pretty parryable. A lot of wind up to it. It's mostly just figuring out the timing. There we go. I got a little poisoned for that. But it's fine. I'm not fully poisoned. That attack's really the one I'm most scared of. Exchange worked out better than it had any right to. Sure did. Alright, big stank. It is now in full stank mode. I've got the pattern like largely down. Ugh. Come on, come on. It really is just impossible to know when you're allowed to do anything in that late phase. Like, I was trying extremely, extremely hard to get a heal in there, and I'd like to heal my poison there, and I just couldn't. Like, every time it didn't attack, and I was like, well, now I'm safe, I was wrong. Bomp. Oh, dear. In these trying times, it's true. Mm -hmm. He will topple, it's fine. <laughs> He's not the most balanced of friends. Yeah, the third, the, the third phase is definitely the really hard one. I'd try to save some Molotovs for that, but he's actually really, really hard to hit with them, so it yeah, sort of I'll just gets you. my ass punished. Yep. Yeah, nobody likes Bloodstar Beast. No. <laughs> Shocking, I know. I was actually able to beat him decently, like without too, too much trouble in my original playthrough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if it was just the threaded cane worked a bit better for it.
Do we do have some fire paper? And that might be the way to do it. Yeah, I probably get it into phase three and then uh, set my weapon on fire. Ah, yeah, good plan, good plan. I think at this point I've more or less got the gist of it, so I shouldn't waste more than like a few a pieces. <laughs> Fingers crossed. The antidotes are starting to run low. Yep. It's really just getting any sort of hits in on the last phase, you know? Yep. Like, the, the early parts really aren't so bad. Oh god, yes. Because, like, you can't really ignore it. No. It will kill you pretty fast. Even for slow poison, that will kill you. Oh yeah. You, you don't want to know about fast poison. Getting the timing on that. Really weird that you have to return your lock on on when you get a parry like that. You should really only do that when they're dead. But it's just something you get used to in the system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A little too far, lost my lock on. <laughs> lost sight of it for a second there, that was almost really bad. Okay, but. That's good though. You're doing massive chunks of its health whenever we get that, which is nice. You do actually get a decent amount of time as long as you don't hit it, but it, it is something you just have to be ready for. Oops. Crumbs them, especially for the rage. Hey, so There's much. some blood. Blood fungus is here. Blood is being born right now. We are Granny Bingus and we are here. And probably die to the blood starter beast. Ooh, nice. death there. Yep. That was dumb. I had it. Almost. We'll get there. We're using the Kirk hammer. Mm-hmm. The church hammer. Ludovic. And his blade. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, get this beast. That we are. Good dip, we're so close. Definitely some very tough bosses in this. Unfortunately, we are also uh, basically out of Quicksilver bullets now. I have not been spending my life for them. Probably do. That gave us uh, five extras. 
They were running low. Mm-hmm. There's the problem of your power being unconsumable. Yup. Yeah, it's like I was getting quite a lot of mileage out of my parries there. Luckily, fire paper does last a while. I should definitely just kind of be willing to let it go, because we do have quite a few pieces of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you buy fire paper? I think so, but it's fairly expensive, mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if we have an infinite source of it currently. Ugh. We have just basically picked up the stuff that we've gotten. Can I lock onto you yet? I think that is the thing about the parry system in this game, is that it's got a great reward, but it's a hell of a risk. Oh, yeah. And, like, learning it is, like... It's very, very difficult to learn when you at, use consumable yeah, resources. At, at the very least, it's at learning to use it is adding to your grunt. Like, yeah, that is the biggest problem. But even if you learn it pretty fast, like, you're gonna have to get these bullets somehow in order to learn. Yep. And, like, sometimes shit just happens. Sometimes it just doesn't parry. Lost my lock on at the absolute worst time there. Fine. Yeah, I was thinking that he had a big stockpile of uh, bullets by grinding that guy in the wheelchair yep. in Central Garden, and we've run out. <laughs> yep. And it's just entirely, you know, learning Blood Star Beast and when you're allowed to parry it and not. Well, takes a lot of resources. <laughs> I could continue to hurt myself to get more free bullets, but you know, it's a little dangerous. It's probably something that I should just do. Yep. Probably let it, yeah, do that. I can't really do much when it's uh, spewing. bigger area of effect than it looked. Fire paper is out. that god like healing is fast everything else is slow as shit yeah. i cannot heal poison mm God, and that, if that gun parry had just worked, too, probably would have been fine. Yeah, I, just, I don't know why that didn't work. All right, we got this. Mm-hmm. Get this lad. Yeah, 
the unfortunate thing about it is it's either this or like grind out 10,000 blood echoes to skip it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for oh. sake. That's what happens. Not that those souls mattered or anything, but mostly just uh, yep, bye, souls. want to go fight it. Yeah. This is why I spend all of my souls before I walk into a boss fight. Yep. Because otherwise they are basically stuck there until you beat the boss or lose them forever. Yep. The reward for Blood Starved Beast is to go forward in the video game. Like, there's, like, you can't really go anywhere else until you, uh, get past this? Um, not really. Like I said, unless I want to, uh... Pay 10,000. Pay 10,000 for the church thing. Wee. And yes, we will get that. Don't worry about those things. <laughs> about things that haven't come up yet. Bloodstained Beast, or Bloodstarved Beast is optional, but, uh... He will cause progress to happen. It's just that he there are other ways to get to the place that you get to once you beat him. Ooh, get him. Get him. I definitely have to make sure I don't parry too quickly, or like go for the punish too quickly. Like I have to let bosses fall down. But yeah, what I was basically saying at the start of the stream was that there are t there are two ways that you can progress, that you can progress in this. Uh, one is by beating this guy. One is by spending ten thousand. I'll give Alfred another shot along with some fire paper and see if we can't uh, work that down a little better. Keep him alive a little better, really. Oh, yeah. Hey there, Al. Alfred wasn't doing too bad until uh, quite late on. Yeah. Yeah, it was really just like slowing us down a little bit, um, but we can manage. Be a bit more aggressive when he's uh, going for Al. I don't know if we have any oil. I don't believe we currently do. Um, and it's also not on sale in the shop, so I don't actually remember where I get it. I think more than anything, I just gotta get all up in there. For you not be right next to me, ideally. Pissed form. Get the stank. Wow. That, didn't that just parry? didn't do literally anything. So that's wow. cool. Wow. And it is just like sometimes the game decides you don't parry. Uh, also, you just die. Wow. Oh, wow. That blue. That fucking sucked. Yeah, the cleric beast just came from that was awful. the left to fuck you up a wee bit. That was shitty as hell. <laughs> 
Dark Souls 2 is the chunkiest summon game ever. Your friends, your summons in Dark Souls 2 have infinite health. Alright, so that didn't help at all. Oh well. Oh well. You have not yet run out of vials, though I get the feeling that that point is coming. This fight isn't exactly hefty on the vials. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I kind of wonder if the axe might be a little better for it. Over the cart? Yeah. If I can use the bigger axe, that would be useful. I'm not 100% sure, but it's at least a faster swing with pretty wide range. Yep. So you level it up, so it's like pretty good. Yeah, it's on par still. And it's nice to get. I'm glad I'm using uh, my own blood quicksilver bullet. It's a very small health cost if I get it back quickly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so now I'm still like hanging on while yeah, being yeah, able to do parries. Yeah, yeah, a few of them. Yeah, using up your health ones. Whoosh! Bye, bye, lock on. Yeah, don't get grabbed. Dark Souls is, is here to tell you. Don't, don't get grabbed, idiot. Hot tip, don't get grabbed. Hot tip, don't get grabbed. Well, just got owned by the level geometry there. Hey, look, I'm poisoned again, so I'm dead. Uh, yeah. Yep. As soon as I get poisoned the first time, it's basically over for me, because I just yeah. cannot heal fast. I can't heal the poison fast enough. Yeah. I don't really want to spend all of my blood vials doing, like, trying to keep the poison off. Yeah. Hmm. Mm hmm, mm Was strafing right better? Because I actually found, like, the stra strafing left was working just fine. I'd also say I was getting most of my damage out of parries, like... I've been punished for them towards the end of the fight, but... I'll try strafing right. I mean, if it helps it stay a little closer to me, that's probably fine. Down the stairs we go. Mm-hmm. Sorry that this is the whole stream. <laughs> That's gonna be Bloodborne, though. That's Souls game. Sometimes you just spend a whole uh, two hours fighting one boss. Yep. I, I am aware. I have played and beaten this game before. <laughs> I mean, I could, uh, I could try. Mm. I, I could have a go. That might be fun. Hmm. It would be a disaster. I don't know what even buttons do in this game. 
I also have never played the DLC. I haven't decided if I'm doing that or not. Traverse the nightmare fog. And that is the funny thing. Bloodstar Beast did not kick my ass the first time I played this game. Like, we have almost certainly spent more time uh, fighting him than I did in my first playthrough. I wonder if it, the cane was just good against it in. Probably. Does that whip have reach? Ah, uh, yeah. That's probably the biggest thing. All the doubles, all, like all the big ones do. I don't really feel like Wright's getting me anything more. It is definitely a big thing in Souls games that knowing which side to, uh, like, rotate around an enemy can be really big. Um, I don't think this is buying me anything, though. Right then. Later. I wasn't sure we were looking at its uh, front there. It's a little tough to tell. It just sucked that it's like basically completely un like there's no way to interact with it when it does that this long slash here. Yep, off like, it goes. It is in another stratosphere at that point. Yeah, I do kind of feel like I like get more damage off the Kirk Hammer. Just because I was able to get more than one hit in. Yeah. Think. God, and it's like I wind up for a backstab, but I honestly don't know if he'd be in the same neighborhood when I finished no, it. You know? Absolutely not. Not without Alfred to sort of keep him looking away from you. Occupied. Like that. I got the time to do it, it's just I don't. He moves so much that it's like impossible to really know. There's the thing, like, that's the thing about like Alfred being yeah. there, is you often kept him in like a place. Sometimes. Not all the time. Yes. Because this, this lad does move, but. About at first, poison explodey. The dodge as much as he tends to swing to the left a lot more and kind of walk around and get hits in the kind of dodge. Mm -hmm. Oh, I this it doesn't seem easy. Yeah. It moves. It's just the, the wind up in your backstab is so big that it's just it's gone yep. every time you do it. Guess he was not allowed to uh move. Go there. Give him some space so I can work this poison out before it becomes an issue. Dark Souls enemies love to lazy season. hit me.
The the walking to his side is working though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was able to actually get some hits in. Yep. Yep. Well, I didn't actually dodge roll there, which was why I nope. died, but, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't dodge because I didn't think I needed to. <laughs> Shitty boss, yeah. Poor oh, poison is just, like... And it's the sort of thing where... If poison... If the antidotes were faster... Yeah, like... Hearing it is really the biggest problem. They're just like, even just a half second to like slow at times. Yep. You would get one in, and then the boss would like, you would try to dodge, and the boss would catch you in the middle of the dodge. Yep. Just a little bit too slow. Yeah, just a few more frames would be all it would really take. You know, the biggest thing with the threaded cane was I was able to get hits in on it, like... Yeah, when it was a bit... A, a little bit, bit more easily. And, yeah. Like, with the big weapon of it, basically. Yeah. The large form. Yeah, the small form is quite similar to the Kirkhammer. I figured the whip's got to have a bit... Just a little bit extra range. Like, you were missing it by, like, inches sometimes. Mm -hmm. and the whip probably just has that little bit of extra... Having the stick. Yeah. Later. The boss has a serrated property. I assume that's good for this boss. Ah, just bonus damage. Okay. Mm. I'm getting dangerously close to the whirling mass of hitboxes uh, that it throws out there, but I haven't been hit by it yet. Oh, does it extra damage to be That makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, the biggest, uh, the biggest difference between, like, this playthrough and your first one is that you were using it. Yes. The weapons in this game are very different and interesting, which is good. It also means that some things you'll find easy will be harder on your next playthrough. Yeah, the axe and the cart hammer are not straight, it's do the bonus damage. Yeah. And every he hit... He ends up in another Every code. hit counts in this fight. You just don't get that many of them in. Yep. I at least now have kind of figured out the places in the pattern where I can just go fucking off on him like that. Mm-hmm. And that makes a pretty big difference. Knew he was gonna go forward there. Like every time he does that to me, it is actually a very good opportunity for damage, which is good. I was surprised he didn't uh, start spewing there. Ugh. I 
buddy. How you doing? Hmm. Nice and slow. You can come out whenever you would like to. <laughs> Poisoning is definitely a, a terrible sign for the future. Yup. <laughs> but, fuck that guy. Oh, all we right. We got a chalice Sh of Thumeru. Check it out, it's fine. We mm. got a bonfire. Fuck that guy. We lit the lamp. He gave us 7,000 whole souls. So we can't even afford the thing that would get us in. First try. First try. Knocks him over. Oh no, Rip. <laughs> he praised the song too hard. Mm hmm. Gentle Jaw, thank you for the resub. Thank you. So many pets coming in. Mm -hmm. Let's try. A wide stance him a little bit. Blackjack Attack, thank you for the sub! Thank you so much! For another pet. Mm hmm. Victory Pets. Victory Pets! I mean, who doesn't love Solar? Mm hmm. We're gonna knock him over again? Hell yeah. I thought that there was an ah. exit to this area. Pat, 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 pat. Many pass. That's a good point. Online, use only. Thought that the way that the cathedral ward worked was that if once you beat the blood starved beast, you actually get another path to it. Welcome home. What is it you desire? Strength. Mm -hmm. Time to great all. Very well, let me. You know, I'm sort of like, do I want to level up this or do I want to go buy the thingy? Mm -hmm. What do you want to buy? The uh, ten thousand thing. Ah, so relatively see, close so to you it. Need that? I didn't think I did. I Ooh. again I could have sworn that you beat the blood starved beast and then you uh get a path, but I'm not hundred percent sure mm -mm. where exactly it is, or if you just have to go buy it at some point. And I didn't think that was the case. This game can be a little bit um oh, no, cryptic hunt. about these sorts of things, unfortunately. I would like to know, yes. Like, I'd rather not spend the 10,000 blood echoes if I need to. We don't have to yet. Yeah, I know I don't need the key. I need to know where I need to go then. Like, is it the other direction that leads me there? Because I thought the other direction led to another boss that also doesn't. Okay, there is a door open in the chapel. I thought that was the case. The uh, Odon Chapel, does it just open up now? You may need to be a little more specific about which chapel it is. Work your way around, unlock it through a lever. Kill the Blessed Oak Beast, opens a door in the upper cathedral ward. You just drop down into a dark dank pit. Sweet, I love dark dank pits. My favorite kind of pits. Uh -huh. Okay, in that case I will uh grab some vitality. Yeah we will. Very well, let me It is just really weird, uh, 
the path that you end up taking through this game sometimes. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, I was pretty sure I didn't beat the Cleric Beast uh, until much later in the game. Yeah. They beat the Blood, blood Starf one before the Cleric? Yes, like by quite a bit, I think. It's also funny because Garman is like, whether he's there or not kind of changes. Yeah, he wasn't whether, there last Whether time he exists. Yeah. Hey, little lady, how's it going? There we go, this door was closed. Uh... I believe it was. Hey. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hello, good sir. Oh, bullets, this is fine. Though. That's good for bullets. Mm -hmm. you just get shot every time you come up here. Yeah, a little bit. All right. Are you a chest? It is a chest. It's a chest, not a mimic. Okay. I got communion. Communion. Oh, we're getting all the trophies today. Yep, it's trophy haver hours. You know, I love it. It's on my file, so it's all mine. Ah, up our uh, max blood vials. So there we go. <laughs> if there's such a thing as progress in this game, I think this is it. Mm-hmm. A little balls that you'd be doing this out here, but this is fine. I'll just bet that those guys like with this, the guns can't shoot me. There's no way this game doesn't have the mix. <laughs> All right, so we have entered the healing church workshop. And even if it doesn't have mimics, I'm gonna think every chest is a mimic anyway until proven otherwise. So yeah, might be the drop. I'm not 100 percent sure. Let's take a look around here first. Okay, don't get more violence, just get good. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hello. A lot is currently happening. You're the one with the gun. <laughs> they always get stunned for just a little less time than I'm expecting. But you tell me whatever you want. This game, this game has mimics. Can't trick me. <laughs> There's a chest that's gonna eat us. That's what chests do. Chests just eat you. That's what that's what they do. The number one predator of man. Yes. Chests. Certainly predator of JRPG players. That is true. Beware of wheelchair, eh? Is there a dude with a minigun up here? Sure is. <laughs> Maybe. This is not blind? I mean, I'm blind, because I don't know anything. But, uh, Vegas has played through the game. Yes, I have beaten the game. It has just been a bit. And I was not exactly a completionist in my playthrough. Hello. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> Carry on. <What? laughs> Hello. Later, dude. All right. That was dude. Bye. You uh. Bye. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you have extremely missed Val. These guys, I know the parry time to very well. Well, that takes care of that, I guess. <laughs> There's a ladder over here. I mean, I don't know anything about the game. So don't spoil it for me. I need to be scared at all times. Backseating costs channel points. It sure does. It's mostly alright when I'm getting stuck on stuff. 
Of course it's this side. <laughs> yeah, obviously. The danger side. Mm-hmm. You want to get real close to that edge. I sure do. Save the whole seat, but I only needed the edge. Sky and Cosmos are one. The choir. There are only mimics here. Believe there are mimics. Then I believe there are mimics. So there are mimics. <laughs> there are mimics. One of these chests is gonna eat us. I'm sure it will. I'll be very disappointed if we don't get eaten. No mercy for the elderly. No mercy for wheelchairs. It's true. Yeah, yeah, it was worth it. Woo! Six thick, whole thick cold, cold blood. blood. I don't even know what it does. Cool, refreshing blood. Uh, those are like holdable items that give souls. Ah, they're like the Sekiro things. Ooh! A flamethrower! Fancy old man! Not really sure what happened to me there. The moon's haunted. Bring a gun! We've, we've got a gun. We're set. Totally fine. There we go. We've, we've refilled our quick silver bullets yeah. a bit. Yeah. This is definitely a good place for it. Yes. That is a chest. The moon right there. Mm -hmm. It's gonna get us. For sure. Radiant Sword Hunter Badge. All right. Well, that will give us some uh, new things to buy. Mm. Red Ludwig's Successors. One of the badges crafted by the Healing Church. Radiant Sword indicates the heirs to the will of Ludwig. These hunters, also known as Holy Blades, are what remains of an ancient line of heroes that date back to a very early age of honor and chivalry. So they give you, like, a big-ass sword, right? I guess we'll see. I mean, whom's to I to disagree? I think it was on top of some of them babies. Aw, oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure these things are filled with bones. I mean, yeah, typically speaking, yes. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. There's the healing church workshop. Mm. I believe that is all of it, so... If we're gonna make a drop, we'll have to make a drop. Leap of faith! Leap of faith! My favorite kind of leap. I think there's still several enemies. Ah, he came back! He did drop him off a cliff. Just surprised he decided he wanted more of it. That was his spot! Why would he run away from his spot? That's true. I have to get back to where he lived. Bottom floor. Imagine the ogre's still down there, unless he died. <laughs> he tried jumping, but down a hole. Hello! I was gonna say... Blood vile. You love blood's vile. Yes, there is a way down. Yeah. We've tried up. Why not down? You like down. Is that the baby? Hello! I'm surprised he's still like. Here? Bye! Oh. There he go. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. <sighs> the hmm. code that lets you do the dev rules full of test enemies? Oh no. I do remember special item. I sure don't. Apparently it's all thanks to rolling. I'm not sure that's ever been the case. Oh boy. You ready? <laughs> you ready for some uh, oh, action plat platforming? platforming? Absolutely not. <laughs> That was more or less on purpose. Ah. Ooh. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> oh, a top hat with a boy on it? It's actually a top hat for a boy. <gasps> I 
don't remember where these show up. I also don't remember how we put them on our lads, but, you know, one thing at a time. All right, well, nothing currently trying to kill us. <laughs> so, mm. how, how much are we going to trust this note? It's not like I've got anything else to do. Uh, well, we have acquired it. Some madman's knowledge. though. The souls are gone. It could be a fountain in the hunter stream to customize the lads. I believe that's what it is. Not sure which lads they are. Boop boop. And now we've got to yoink this. There is, in fact, a lad in the corner, yes. As long as you take a turn here, you're good. As long as you jump out of the way quickly enough. Reference three and herself did not yeah, make the plush. No, I did not make the plush. My, uh, my, she's gonna be my sister in law in a month. Soon to be sister in law. <laughs> did it's it. weird to say future sister in law. They're getting married in a month. <laughs> he made it for us. I will tell her. We will praise that sun forevermore. Mm-hmm. As one does. I guess the question is, is there an easier way down than this? That is a fascinating question. It doesn't seem this... Hmm. There's, of course, another door over there. Yeah, I'm not 100% sun. sure. How I would get involved with that. It kind of seems like you just drop from like way above, right? Yeah. Your echoes. This is mean. This is. This game doesn't seem well inclined to this. Mm hmm. Missed. <laughs> and dead. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what's behind the door. Blown. We will probably not be there for a bit. I want to say it's locked even if I did get over there. Mm -hmm. I totally did do this originally. I'm just not 100% sure where exactly the uh, the right falls are. No, it's not locked. You just have to have a good jump, I guess. Yeah. I didn't do it till like way late in the game, but we'll probably wait on that. You do have to wait for this elevator to come down each time. <laughs> a very unsafe elevator. Oh, 
I don't know, I feel like it's more mind blowy later. But I wanna get my mind freaked. You'll get your being freaked eventually. But being a guard being freaked, but yeah, that's fine. Your from some failures are absolutely not OSHA approved. Whee! What's worse, from soft swamps or pits of careful falling? <laughs> I mean, I haven't really experienced the swamp. The from swamp? Yeah. For one second. It's kind of the. It's, it's pretty short. Yeah, there's the poison swamp, which is not like great. The poison area. Well, the, most people do mean poison swamps when they talk mm, about the swamp. From swamps. Um, but I will say it's so pretty bad. short in Sekiro. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't so bad, but I haven't experienced the swamp in this game. I will say this pit of careful falling seems utterly dire because this, this, this is not a platforming game. Mm -hmm. I kind of wonder if the hunter charm behind the cleric beast is sort of the quote unquote intended way. A lot of people uh, seem to buy the key. That's what I meant, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like a lot of people seem like, oh, I didn't realize the key was optional, as in, like, the key is like. Oh no. Aww. That almost worked. So sad. It is weird because usually there's a bit more of a clear path in these ones. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure where you're supposed to go from, from there. From there, yeah. There are these really, really tiny ledges, but they don't seem very good. Yeah, they're not really great. There's some other, like, you know, long ones, but it's a bit hard to see where they are from, like, the last kind of half-safe platform. And again, I totally managed to do this originally, so I'm wondering if I just missed the, like, one thing. Fine, we're just restocking our Quicksilver bullets. Yeah, we're just, we're just grinding. This is just the grind. Basically exactly like this. I have a pet peeve for games that are not platformers, making you do platforming. Doing shit. platforming, yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, there's a few, like, JRPGs that do it, and I'm like, you were a JRPG? You do not control well enough to be a platformer? Stop it. It was definitely in vogue for a while uh, with JRPGs. It sure was. Kind of in the mid PS2 era. You're fine, Ragnar. We don't mind. A little difficult to see, but I might be able to walk off right here. Nailed it. Yeah. That is like I saw this from one of the side paths mm -hmm. earlier, and I was like, so we, hmm. Like, heal up. There's only one note. Oh, at the top? Yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks, pal. <laughs> so I think if I just land on this area here, I should make it. Easy. They put Someone put Woo! a gentle trash pile here for me to yeah. land on. Yeah. Oh, boy. Hello. Do, in fact, fear fire. Go figure. Oh wow, he has health. Mm -hmm. Sir, I have opted out of fighting you. I think you are too tall to fit through this doorway. <laughs> he can still throw fireballs through it Oops. though. That was meant to be a heal. Probably put something a little less uh... usable. Yes. Bye. 
Alright, pet that plush. Mm -hmm. Nice. And hey, we're uh we're now in the cathedral ward past the door. Yeah. So there's that. And there's some stuff. Hi. <laughs> This is fine. <laughs> a night of curses. A night. Oh, like, ah, when you were at that door. Ah, I wanted to get you. Ah, ambush, you say. Oi. Well, there's a bunch of people's fire paper on. One, one yeah, yeah, I gotta get the yeah. birds. Ow, I got some Yarnum clothes there. It's true, this is a terrible night to have a curse. Most nights are. Hello. Why are you fighting these guys again? You know what? They're a bit beastlier now. Hmm, is that just the further out we get? Mm. The beastlier people are? Or the longer the night goes, the beastlier people get? That's a good way of thinking of it. Because I think time has passed, right? Um. Time passed when we went into the time, cathedral. Yes, time passed when we beat Father Gascoigne. Yeah. Um, I don't remember if it passes when you eat Love Star Beast or not. I don't believe it changes anything in the world, at least. What's that? Oh, hello. That's, uh, that's a leggy boy right there. That's a kicky, smacky leggy boy. Hmm. Everything is starting to have lots of health, huh? Oh boy. <laughs> you a nasty motherfucker, huh? He's a nasty motherfucker. I take it we do not want the status effect that would inflict. I'm pretty sure the status effect that, uh, that effect that inflicts is dying horribly. He's dead. I think I made him angry. He's dead a little bit. Few people died here, huh? Ah, we've come around. Mm-hmm. Maybe he'll follow us and fight the wolf man. Oop, hello. I think I've really just made him angrier. You made him incredibly mad. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, that's a damage. I've been sacked. No were. Of course, maybe the reason he was so difficult. Oh, but you're not supposed to kill him? Is that we might have gotten sacked. Oh. Guy's supposed to sack you, huh? Hmm, maybe a little bit. There's actually a few of them. I didn't realize, I didn't know there was one here. There's one right outside the uh, Cathedral Ward bonfire as well. If you go in one direction, it's very difficult to miss them. If we get sacked, we definitely need to find a new job. Mm-hmm. And Granny Bingus is old. It's hard to find a new job in this economy. Hi, then welcome to Yorgle, the unseen village. Eat. Got thrown in jail, I see. Do we have the long shot? Maybe. Oh, they just didn't. Maybe they just didn't leave their door open. In. Maybe they don't care if we leave the cell. That's uh, that's actually concerning. Maybe. That's actually a little concerning. Hmm. Okay. Not the bees. Not the bees, indeed. Advent mm -hmm. toils surreptitiously and rituals to beckon the moon. I'll get right on that. Okay, that's in game one. Nobody wrote that. Yep. 
I can tell. People write things like, beware the wheelchair. Thrust butthole. Thrust butthole, yeah. No mercy for wheelchairs. Mm-hmm. Seems like there's a few directions we could potentially go. Hit that plus. That, that. Definitely have to increase the number of points on this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't realize I'd be the one taking the front of it. It's normally me. But, uh, you're, you're beside it and I'm not right now, so. Ooh, hello. In She sounds like she's doing great. Mm hmm. Frenzied. Ooh. You Hello, sound like you're doing well. Do I have to actually do something else? You smash them pops? I don't think that'll do anything. Might need to actually get out of here. I do know where. Ah, okay. Because I'm dressed like a hunter. Rumpled yarn on that. I wonder if we just don't uh, have... have the thing that we need for this. Hmm. It is entirely possible. We are lacking the required items. Okay. Fair enough. But she's a member of the church, so mm -hmm. yeah. We, we we do have a hat. <laughs> I have no idea what you need. <laughs> well, I guess we'll keep that in mind. Yep. I'm able to use uh, Escoigan's hat. hat. I thought he wasn't actually a member of the clergy. Well, he's a father, right? This is a priest's hat. Nope. Apparently not. Will we ever get to leave this place? Or will I almost get out when someone tells me to try a different piece of equipment? <laughs> no. Now we in the full gear. Hell yeah. Specific shirts. Fuck me. I'm for thrust attacks. there. Also, ow. There we go. I've got a lamp next to this, um. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love him. Fun thing. Oh, he's great. Whatever that I'm is. guessing he's not a friend, but I still love him. Friend, otherworldly being, you know. The, 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 the bad guy in Alliance Alive, I fucking adore him. I killed him, mm -hmm. by the way. I did I did kill that guy. Ah, really? But I did love him. He was great. They are a friend? Excellent. I do love a good friend. Mm-hmm. 
Got them big feet. That's a good friend right there. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see if I have to like actually spend insight on this or not. Boom, prospector. Ooh. Yeah, my guess is I'm gonna need Gascoigan's uh, gear. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He fell down. Mm-hmm, as he tends to do. Hey, oh yes, we can give the top hat. And the blood we did get top hats for our boys. Mm-hmm. Once, guardians of the hunters, in the times of the hunter Ludwig. Hey Ludwig. They worked and forged weapons in their youth. Yes, yeah, so this is him talking about the healing church workshop we saw. Most ministers don't recall the hunters. Doom prospectors do count. Okay. To offer you. And so, so as long as I buy the shirt, I should be able to get her. To Odin. Odin. I love Odin. Odin. Put hats on the boys. How do we put the hats on the boys? Much as this. <laughs> I see. Ooh, uh, I guess how many Maybe it is Gascoigan. How many stones do we have? Maybe I do just spend three insight for this. And hopefully Gascoigan's shirt does count. I feel like I was just wearing this. Yeah. When I first played the game. Mm -hmm. It is pretty swish. It's pretty good. There's some boys that stomp at the side of the building. Outside of the building we talk in here. Stump. Yeah, top hat, top hat. Oh, there we go. Yeah, fancy lads. Yeah, can be rather difficult to get around this place we sometimes. We have some fancy lads. We sure do. Dream did get a thousand times classier. All right, so yes, that is not actually the place. Uh, this is a new location, the Hypogean Jail. They did, they did spell it Gow. Mm-hmm. Gowl. Gow. Yeah, they don't have a gardener around here. They really need to hire one. Mm-hmm. Maybe you can uh, get the doll to do it. I don't know. I feel like she does enough. It's true. She does do enough. Probably unpaid too. Mm -hmm. Just make another doll. Make that one the gardener doll. May have angered one of them, but it's fine. This is fine. Mm -hmm. So they left us in a place with a bonfire, which means we can leave anytime we want. Hooray. Indeed. Hello. Oh, why you gone? Alrighty. The healing church. You've come to save me. Oh, thank you, dear saint. I have no words to express my relief. You can take this at least. Neat. 
sure to please. Well, that replaces one of the insight we spent on you. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you so much. Dear God. Thank you so much. I was seized on the street by the Hulk. Yeah, yeah, that does happen. Yeah, so were we. There were many others, but they've been taken away. And I've heard no... Uh-oh. Is that good? ...ever since. So... Hunt is on tonight, and the streets are perilous, and every door will be shut tight. Perhaps it isn't my place to ask, but do you know somewhere that we do? We do, in fact. Not the we clinic. We know two places. Not the clinic, just the chapel. Oh, thank you so much. We're not sending I anyone to be eaten by whatever ate. Your hunt. Ah, she wants the uh, the scarf. The, that's the thing. I'll set up a kind time. All right, so there we go. I have no idea how these two do. Okay, so like, a bit more blood, a lot less arcane, decent bolt. Look, it's my hope that just like in Sekiro, we are uh, gonna kill the thing that wants to experiment on people. Mm-hmm. As a general rule. As a general rule. All right, well, we can always see what's going on around here. No, the clinic cannot have a little snack as a treat as I drop my phone. Oh dear. Ah. That's, that's not great. I appear to have been can that's, opened. That's not good. That that was pretty deadly, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> the one two. That, that was pretty good. They, they got us pretty good. A little bit. There's a dude on that stairway, but he's a slow sackman. Hello. Gonna have to ask for them blood echoes back. Thanks. Thank you, man. Got a bloodshot eyeball. Neat. Yay. Yeah, not suspicious. Hello. Hello. They just are uh, really committed to playing dead. Mm hmm. Maybe eventually they'll get me. But where are foe? I don't know. Sounds fake. Six blood vials. Sweet. Wow. Nice. Three pebbles. Wow. Wow. Ooh, ten quicksilver bullets. Now we're getting somewhere. When you're exploring new areas, it's very easy to refill your uh, quicksilver. Yeah, quicksilver in your blood vials. It was definitely a great day when they recorded all the uh, screams and howls. Hell, a bong. They're like, well, I'm sure she won't actually hit me with the ah. Oh! If I just play dead, I'll oh, hi. Hi ho, Mr. Sackman. Two Sackman. Mm hmm. Oh boy. They are fairly slow, though. I mean, yeah, until this point. Oh, 
I think we won that trade. We sure didn't. They're the sack lads, are they? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's one problem solved. You did beat one of the sack men. I believe the ones that send you here are actually even stronger than uh, the ones that are actually in here. Uh, yeah, they just seem, yeah, I just seem to have a lot more health. They really want you to get kidnapped. They, they want you to get murdered, yeah. Ah. Oh. I know where this goes. Time for superior beings, okay. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. All right. Not sure if there's anything else I want to do here before I walk out that way. Mm-hmm. I could fight two sack lads if I wanted. Hello. Chilling. Having a good time. Just having a chat. Standing around that item, being like, this is a cool item right here. That's a neat item, isn't it, bro? Oh, yeah, it is, bro. It's a very good item, bro. I haven't visited half the area, but I also have to fight two sack lads if I want to go there. What I can potentially do is actually go to the dream and then uh, come back and ambush the one guy. Mm -hmm. oh, there's a side door in that room. Mm. There's a lot of these areas that I don't quite remember most of. Was it just like off to the left of the main door? Ah, is that side door just locked? Henrik's hunter garb. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's fine. He was like, I see what you're doing. And how dare you. God. He's got moves. Yeah, the stuns on the uh, hammer, the hammer are actually pretty good. quite yeah. good. Yeah, this guy is definitely spawn camping that lantern. A little ballsy, but I got you. You got him. Uh, are we going for a strength build? We went for enough strength to actually wield the hammer if that strength build. <laughs> Trying to give me the suck. <laughs> My man's just keeps going. Ah. Aww. I knew it was coming. We are getting some twin bloodstone shards, um, which means we can upgrade our stuff a little further. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fair is fair.
easy every time. <laughs> Except for most of the times. Yeah. Got him. Yeah, these guys are hitting for like almost all our health. If we hadn't upgraded our health, they would be hissing for all our health. It is true. I'm lucky that I didn't just take the sack there. Not entirely sure why I got hit there. He's got reach. <laughs> oh, he's more dead, you fucker. Oh, now he is. Alright, get them sackmen. And acquire the moon. You never know when you're going to need the moon. Okay. Fire more blood echoes. Neat. Alright, so there's this whole path out here, I suppose. Oh, hello! Good thing I didn't go over this way. There's a scooper over here. Also, a whole bunch of these things. Yeah. Neat. Yeah. Weird, creepy things. And Bloodborne? I, I know, right? It's so unusual. I was expecting it to get grabbed again. Would be pretty funny. Like chameleons, stone, big stone chameleon. Hmm. Well, that seems great, actually. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is it. I see we're stuck between a rock and a hard place here. A dog and a hard place? A dog and a big thing. Ah, Sackman. We're stuck between a big lad and a Sackman. Not sure what the deal with that dog is. I hear it snarling away at us in the back. Mm hmm. Just trying to get us so bad. <laughs> he is so, a lot is so happening, hard yes. to get us. He's like, Arr. wrong dogs. Yeah, there's some chunky dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like he tried to run through. It didn't <laughs> go great. Where do we end up? Hit points, Lovecraft. Thank, Thank you for you the for follow. follow. Uh, there's a lot of singing going on right now. <laughs> ah, I know where this is. That's the room we got a little gouged. <laughs> the two fur. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this game is so screamy. Mm -hmm. It really likes to scrim. It's a pretty scrim game, yes. Yeah, we're just like. Alrighty. <laughs> just, uh, just a little scrim. Oh, hello. We scrim. I mean, it's true. They are in Bloodborne. Everyone's cursed. I would be stressed too. <laughs> it's a stressful day, you know. Certainly is. 
pigs. There's all sorts of stuff. That was the side door there. He's still mad. He's still angry, yes. I uh, kind of missed there. Oh, but now he's stuck. Wow, this one's chunky. Sure it is. I think it's because we're quite a bit later than the game expects us to be by going out that doorway. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. At least we have ended up somewhere different. <laughs> Terrifying. Oh, boy. I believe this is, yes, a door that leads now into here, uh, like back to the same thingy uh... as before. Just now, we can uh, leave this way, should we please? Sure. And trust me, I please. Sure, the doll isn't very stressed out, but she is in the... Uh... I was, zone. Gonna, I was gonna say the safest place, but again, we've seen bloodstains there. She's in the zone. Wait, well, she's technically not alive, so she can't really die, I guess. That's just smart. That pig is still very angry with us. He's very angry. Yoska is extremely dead, so. It's all thanks to Hidden Although, Path. I guess the person who took Yovska's place is doing all right. Well, that's unfortunate. Nothing but Inquisitors. Not realize that I couldn't do this from this side. Ooh. Go figure. Okay. I feel like all this is leading to I am going to have to do the fucking cathedral thingy again. Um, of course, now that we've got 12,000 soul. <laughs> Now that's a haunted <laughs> pig right there. Alrighty then. But yes, I think the takeaway from this is going to be that I should probably just go buy that emblem with the uh, windfall of blood echoes that I have here and stop trying to be clever. But hey, we opened up that door. Probably good. That seems like a reasonable place to finish up here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Next time we will pop into the cathedral and uh, see what that's all about. Yeah. Or I'm sure nothing bad is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Why are we buying that? Um, mostly so that I don't have to fall down the uh, the hole again. Ah, I didn't exactly the... find a rest point yeah, after that. Yeah, you didn't. Yeah, you got sacked. I got a little sacked. You got a wee bit sacked, I was yeah. not exactly expecting the, to get mm -hmm. sacked. As tends to happen from time to time. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get the church to answer our questions about blood healing. True. There are many of them. I believe we should. Yes, we now have a bunch of twin blood stones, so fuck it. Bigger hammer. Uh, bigger, stronger hammer. Yes, the uh, sack lads Even were dropping. Bigger, stronger hammer. The sack lads were dropping twin blood stone yes. shards, as were the crawly, creepy boys. <clears throat> bigger, better hammer. Yep, always good to make your hammer bigger. Ah, you can just keep on keeping on. All right, well, I think that that will do us for today. Next time, I will figure out what the fuck I'm doing, maybe, or just continue to wander around areas, mostly blind. Definitely at least one of those two things. Yeah, we are down to six blood vials in storage. <laughs> wow. Spend mm -hmm. these babies out. Mm -hmm. Next time, I will pet the plush as well. We'll pet the plush. All right, well, tomorrow you'll be streaming Yay, more Skies of Arcadia. More Skies of Arcadia, and I... Promise not to die at a random encounter. You say that. I say that. No I might, promises. I might die to a boss instead. There's yeah. a boss coming up. Who uh, is fairly well known. <clears throat> yes, he's a dick. <laughs> um, so we'll see how it goes. 
More of this on Tuesday. More of this on Tuesday. See you guys tomorrow for Skies for Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.